Hi, I'm Honest Liz. Welcome to my channel. I go from this to this today after I wash with apple cider vinegar. It's also called an acid rinse. It helps to stimulate hair growth, detangles hair, prevents split ends, reduces frizz, and it also balances your hair's pH so much. So when should you actually do it? Me, I do it when my hair is in the middle of the week. Look at my hair here. It's not greasy. It's not very dry or brittle. It's, it's just fine actually. That's what you know about pH balancing. When you shampoo your hair, do color treatments, or simply just wash your hair, so the pH value of your hair can go high. Doing acid rinses brings your hair back into the acidic nature that it wants to be in. That's where apple cider vinegar comes to play. Learn more about this from my blog, in the link description now, how much apple cider vinegar to water the question that depends on how much buildup you have for a thorough clarifying use 50 50 ratio the ideal ratio is one part the apple cider vinegar with two parts water for me that works out three fourth cup acid to one liter water make sure you use hot water to mix the apple cider vinegar first let it cool down and then use it in your hair if you're unsure about your mix, remember to do a pH test to te test the pH value of your mixture. Learn more about this pH and everything you need to know about pH values from my blog. I linked it in the description box below. I've also used just one tablespoon for one liter water, but I don't see much change with it. You decide how much the ratio should be based on what your hair needs. Yeah, let's not use too much because my hair has no build up i'm just using this so that it improves my curl pattern and adds shine and conditions my hair how does it smell you ask it smells horrible it's just nasty like feet but then you you know things you do for love don't worry though the smell goes out when you wash it out nicely so I just washed my hair. You can also co-wash your hair or shampoo your hair, but my hair wasn't so dirty. So I just rinsed it out and I'm going to dip my hair in the apple cider vinegar rinse and pulse and push and scrunch my hair to work the apple cider vinegar rinse into my hair. This is actually very hard to do with one hand. You can use both hands to squeeze like this. This is to enhance the clumps and bring the clumps together. Clumps are curl families. Look, they're already forming and coming together. Yay! Now, after you work with it for a couple of minutes, it's up to you whether you want to rinse it out or not. I like to keep it in the shower cap for, for a few minutes. You can do that if you have hard water or so extremely soft water. Yes, definitely don't get it into your eyes. It burns. See the hair that's outside? You can see that it's already clumping. It's coming together nicely. I love it. I'm so excited for this wash day. I rinsed it out and styled my hair over it. You can also choose to deep condition if you want to. And these are my results. Bouncy, defined, shiny curls. Even my gray hair is behaving. I love this rinse for this reason. It's so effective. At least for me, I can see the results immediately. This is my styled and dry hair. And this was my hair before. Of course, my hair is not so bad and that's only because I take really good care of it. So look at ACV rinse as a preventive measure. Now, depending on the ratio, it may not be as clarifying as some of the shampoos, but as a DIY, it's really good to maintain your healthy curly hair. Let me know if you try.